James Holder for IFL TV in association with Matkins Jim Marbella. With me, I've got Savage Sam Egerton, aka Mr. Egerchini. How are you? <laughs> I'm alright, mate, yeah. Just... Happy birthday, Sam. Cheers, pal. Did Cheers. you feel, did you think, like, this, this time last year, 22nd birthday, you'd be headlining your own show no. in your home city? No, I just said to the other bloke, I mean, every birthday since my 18th, I've been in the gym because yeah. there's some sort of fight happening. But um, never at a press conference, heading, heading my own bill, so. <laughs> No, nah, it's been crazy. What was your initial reaction when you found out that Frankie Gavin wasn't going to be facing you on this card, mate? Honestly, I weren't shocked. I weren't you wasn't shocked? shocked. Nah. I, I kind of had a thought. I asked John, every time John rang me, I said to John, you need to start ringing me because every time you ring me, I feel like you're going to tell me he's pulled out. And he rang me the one night, you know, he pulled out. So I kind of saw it, kind of had an inkling it was going to happen. I, I don't know why, but, you know, it is what it is. We move on, we've got day 11s and, you know, we'll go from there. Do you think the Frankie Gavin fight will be rescheduled and will happen again? Because it's such a big fight for the city. You're both very well established now, yourself becoming yeah. more established fighters. Will it? Do you think that fight can be made? We'll see. It won't happen this year. I don't think. I mean, how can it? I don't see why the Birmingham fans should miss out on the Birmingham fight and take it somewhere else. So if it's going to happen, it's definitely going to happen in Birmingham. Um, so there was obviously talk of it being put yeah, into on London, London on show, the but White, Joshua, you know, bit, the uh, Joshua bit, White on yeah, the Yeah, it's a bit selfish on the, on the fans, isn't it, for the Birmingham show. I mean, the tickets went nuts for it, so you know, there's no point in taking it somewhere else now. It'll still be a big fight next year, presuming, you know, I, I, I come past day 11s. Um, so, you know, maybe next year, but because I just said to him, the, the, the Joshua and White card, you know, it's seven weeks from this fight date. You know, I meant to have a week, two out maybe. I I meant to train for that. Do you know what I mean? So we'll see. But it's not. I don't. I doubt it happens this year. Let's talk a little bit about Dale Evans. You fought each other in the prize yeah. fight before. It was a semi-final, I do believe, first time. No, it was just quarter final. Quarter final, yeah. court final the first time. Your second first prize. Idol. Second prize fight appearance. Let's get back on that now. Do you feel you could have done more that night and have you been waiting on a chance to put that right? Do you know what? I, at the time I was a reserve. I was, you know, I was, I was making, I was trying to make the weight. My first time I've ever made the weight at that, at that time, 10 stone 9. Um, I was a reserve. I was happy to be a reserve. It was two grand in the bank. Um, and when I got the late call, I think it was about four, four days now, something, something like that. Obviously I took it with both hands. I did what I could on the night. You know, there was nothing on the night that I could do more. He just done, he done too much for me. Um, but I feel like I've come on since then, and you know, it will, it will show on Saturday night. What do you think his best natural attribute is? He's come forward, he's game. You're quite similar to that. Is there anything yeah. he's going to do that you've, you've not seen before, and you, you're not, you're not um, expecting? I don't know. To be fair, I ain't watched him since the prize fighter. I you've not watched him since then. No, nah, I leave that to. I don't watch any opponents. Um, but we'll see. I mean, he's got his chicken eat, so he'll be dangerous early on, I presume. And he knocked down Anwar down at late, so it'll be late. He'll be, he'll be dangerous all the way through the fight. So you know you got to you got to take you know you got to take things from that and, and think you know if if he did, yeah, he's gonna work. So you know I'll I'll try and I'll try and dodge a few punches while I'm hitting him, <laughs> but you know there's no promises. So it'll be an exciting fight. Credit to him for taking the fight. With his exactly. inactivity as well, he's not been on the big stage for a while, so he needs his opportunity as much as anyone. So fair play to him for exactly. stepping up. And you know, he's come to Birmingham. Mm -hmm. You know, he could have been Manchester, he could have been anywhere else, you know, but he's, he's come to Birmingham to take the fight. He was late notice and, you know, like, there's only a few people that would have took this fight late notice, you know. And me and Dale Evans are what, um, two of them, so, you know, you know what? it'll be a good fight. I think you should thank John Pig every day of your life because you went into his gym on the, on the hope that you might be good enough and tough enough to go on the road. Yeah. So look where you are now. Look what you're I doing, do. you I know try, what I mean? I try my best to, to show my appreciation. Um, <laughs> but no, no, I do, I do, I do I, I love, every time I get the chance to tell somebody what John's done for me, I, I will tell him, yeah. because he has changed, like, he's changed my life in general because of the fact, you know, I would have been on the road. Anyone, like, I suppose I landed on my feet and going in John Pegg's gym, because a lot of people would have just, you know, said, oh, you want to go on the road, sweet, let's take you. Yeah. So I've got, I've got to thank him, you know, quite a lot. I think you genuinely have because yeah. it would have been easier for him to probably put yeah. you on the road and he probably made more money for the exactly. first two years, you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Fair so. play.
you got to go thank him for that. Last but not least, message to everyone who has stood by you, who has bought tickets, who hasn't changed anything due to pull out. Yeah, I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that still brought tickets. I understand for the people that have brought them back, they weren't seeing what they thought they were going to see, but you know, I'm still on the building, a big fight in a, with a kid that's beat me already. So, you know, a massive thanks to all the fans that have brought tickets, no matter who you brought them off. But, you know, uh, an even bigger thank you to the people that have had them off me and are coming to support me. and. and Show me to victory. So last, for that. last but not least, how confident are you that you'll be retaining the title Saturday? I'm very confident, mate. I'm, I'm 100, 10% confident. I've literally, I've done everything I can for this camp. Um, anything John's asked me to do, I've done. You know, I've, I couldn't have done any more. If he's asked me to do 20 press ups, I'll do 23 or 24. Do you know, I've, do, I've, I've done all that. So. You know, I'm just tapering down this week and I feel great on the weight. You know, I've, I've been bouncing around at about 10, 11, 10, 12 this week and I feel great. So, you know, I'm, I'm more than ready to go. I just can't wait for the weigh-in tomorrow. And then, you know, after the weigh-in, it's all business. 10, 12. I weighed that when I was 10. I don't wait very often even. I weighed it when I was about 11. <laughs> I don't wait very often. But, <laughs> nah, it, it, I feel good for the weight. I've done it well. Like I said, John's asked me to get on these meals is food prep you know it's helped me a lot yes who um, does the food prep sorry um no. paul, paul morale paul morale yeah, norman's calf i think go. it's called but yeah it's, it's been a massive help and you know the you know the, the meals the meals are you know they, they don't fill you up every day but you know the, the, the good meals they, they they're healthy they put what you need it takes into a headache you. of you having to mess about as well, it, exactly it? and you know the, the missus at home as well I've got the kids so me going home and saying we well, cut me this up and cut me this up before I do my bag and go again you know it's a bit of a nose for her as well so you know I've got to thank food prep a lot because you know they've, they've helped me out man I wish you the best of luck we'll see you tomorrow at the Wayne thank you for talking to IFL TV always a pleasure sir thanks a lot and we'll catch you again real soon cheers